Hello, my name's Charlie. I am 23 years old. I live in Birmingham, UK. And I am going to be moving to America to work at Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. I am genuinely speechless. I can't believe I'm saying it. I feel sick when I think about it because it is all my life dreams coming true. But yes, it's happening. By the time this video is uploaded, I will be there. I'll be moved in. I can't believe how my life has just come together in the last 12 months. I'm literally shook, I'm shaking, I feel sick, I feel exhilarated, I am nervous, I'm excited, I can't believe it's happened to me. So in today's video I'm just going to be talking through what I'm going to be doing, what the hell has happened to me and I'm going to hopefully explain to you a little bit more information about the Cultural Representative Programme. So, let me introduce you to myself. My name is Charlie, I, like I said. I'm 23 years old, I live in Birmingham, UK, and in January this year I applied to the Cultural Representative Programme. The Cultural Representative Programme is a guest-facing role where you will either work in food and beverage or merchandise within the UK Pavilion in Epcot. So, Walt Disney World is split up into four parks. We have Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot and Hollywood Studios. In Epcot, if you don't know, there is something called the World Showcase and it is basically 11 different pavilions around a big lake and the pavilions are built up like the country they're representing. So we have Mexico, China, France, Italy, Japan, so many different pavilions all around the lake and there is also a UK pavilion and what Disney does is Disney hires people from that country to work in that pavilion to give the guests of Walt Disney World an accurate representation of that country. I've wanted to apply for this job for as long as I can remember and Covid happened. I knew I was going to apply just before Covid but unfortunately Covid happened. So during the whole of Covid I spent time on my application. I watched every single vlog on YouTube possible about the programme and um, the second the applicants applications opened in January this year, I applied. Oh my god, February I received an email saying I was invited to the pre-screen interview. So, because so many people apply in the UK, Disney hires an external company called Yummy Jobs to do the first set of recruitment. So, I was invited to that first set of recruitment in Yummy Jobs, which was in Essex in the UK. So. In March I had to go down to Essex for my first interview. I was successful and then I was furthermore invited to a final interview in Disney head office in Hammersmith London in April this year and then a week later after that I found out I got the job and I got an arrival date which was absolutely insane. I can't believe how lucky I am because at this moment in time that I'm recording this video a lot of people that went to those interviews still don't know if they've got the job or not, still don't have an arrival date, that a lot of people are on a wait list. So I'll explain everything in my coming videos about all my experiences at each interview stage. I've made a vlog of each one so make sure you subscribe to this channel for more information on that if you're interested. So yeah, I've been waiting six months to go out, so at the time this video is up, I will be there, which is insane. Um, I'm recording this about a month to go, so I've got four weeks left in the UK before I go. Very exciting. So let me give you a bit more information on the job and what I'll be doing. So like I said, there is a UK pavilion in Epcot in Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. And the UK Pavilion is basically set up like a mini UK. So there's a food and beverage side and there's a merchandise side. So the food and beverage, as you can imagine, there is a chippy, there's a beer cart, there's a traditional British pub, which also has a traditional British pub slash restaurant on the other side. And then there's a merchandise side where they have royal memorabilia, they sell, there's a little tea shop where they sell all different kinds of Twinings tea. And it's basically very traditional, very stereotypical, you might say. Just a little bit of the UK in America, basically. From the application stage, to make it clear, you'll only work one side of the pavilion through the whole duration of your um, program. In the interview stages, I said I am comfortable working both. 
but it turns out I am working food and beverage, which is what I wanted. I said it in the interview, food and beverage is what I know and love. So I will be working in the chippy, in the pub, in the beer car and in the restaurant during my time there, which is absolutely exciting. I can't wait to get stuck in. It's ah, oh, literally, it's what dreams are made of and I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It is literally crazy to me thinking that in a month's time I'll be there. Like I said, this application process is very long. It took 11 months from January all the way till November to eventually fly out, but I am one of the lucky ones because on this program, on this set of recruitment, people still don't know, like I said. So I am one of the lucky ones. It is a long process. If you guys at home are wanting to know more information, I'm sure you can watch all my vlogs and kind of work out timings and things like that. I'm trying to think of what else I can say. Um, or that it is just gonna be a complete honor to work in America, like my dream. I've never been to America before. A lot, I'm gonna complete a lot of firsts during this program. I've never been on a long haul flight in my life. I've never been to America. I've never been away from home on my own. So many firsts. Um, I've never been to America, which is insane and it's been my lifelong dream to go to America let alone work there let alone live there for a year that is just ah oh, I can't believe it I really can't believe it I'm gonna be working for Disney in the hundredth year of the Walt Disney Company like I can't believe how everything's worked out it's absolutely insane I can't believe it. I've never been to a Disney park in my life, which is crazy. And I'm sure you at home are thinking, what the hell? How have you got this job if you've never been before? And believe me, I feel the same. I did kind of feel really, really bad and guilty for no reason, because everyone at the application and the interview stage told me, why are you worried? Everyone was just so reassuring and so understanding and they all can't wait to see me experience a Disney park myself because of course I'm extremely familiar with the Disney company and the Disney stores here in the UK but I just never unfortunately got the opportunity to go to a Disney park in my 23 years of life but that is going to change in a month's time. I'm going to be able to experience the parks myself which is, oh, don't, don't because I can't believe can't believe how it's all working out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I plan to upload loads of videos on this channel in the next year. I've got loads upcoming about my interview process, about me packing, about me telling my friends and family because let me tell you right now, I did not tell a soul for four months during the application process. I didn't tell anyone that I got the job. I didn't tell anyone I was going to interviews. I kept it all a secret. And I vlogged the whole thing, so you're gonna be able to see the video of me telling every single person I know that I got the job, and it was a complete shock, completely surprised. So stay subscribed to this channel because that will be uploaded very shortly. Um, thank you very much for watching. I love you so, so much, and please follow me on my cultural representative journey. Thank you. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.